In this session, we're going to talk about the browser in Studio One and how that translates across from those that have used Pro Tools. Now, in Pro Tools, you have on the right-hand side of a session a thing called the Clips List, and that's where all your audio clips are stored. And in Studio One, we have this thing called the Browser Window, which shows us several things and not just the audio clips. So it shows us our instruments and our effects and our loops. So we're going to concentrate now, for now, on loops and files and the pull. In a sense, the pull is the same as the clip list in Pro Tools. So if you're looking for the clips that have appeared in your session, they would appear here in the pull. And in Pro Tools, they'd appear here in the clip list. So if we were trying to get, let's say, a drum loop into Pro Tools, what we would do, we would come to Window, New Workspace, and then we'd navigate to where all our loops are. So for example, we'll go to Apple Loops, and we'll go to Apple loops for garage band for example and we could then go through and we could for example we could search there we could go drum and it find us all the drums so 70s ballad drums now what we can then do of course in Pro Tools if our paths are set right we could then audition that we can audition it in tempo as well we can choose the type of algorithm it auditions it in as well. So we go for rhythmic for drums. And we can do other things as well. We can right mouse click, we can loop preview, we can auto preview. So as we go through each one, it will start playing automatically. Then when we found what we like, we can just simply drag it into the timeline in Pro Tools. And there it is in the, in the Pro Tools timeline. If we zoom out a bit, uh, there we are. There's the, the drum part. You won't hear this in this example, but there it is playing. And also now you'll see it appearing also in the clip list here. So how does that translate to Studio One? Well, Studio One's a more simplified approach. It's all in the browser window here on the right-hand side. We can go to File, go to Libraries. There's the Apple Loops. Apple Loops for GarageBand. Again, we can go Drum. We can do the search, just like you do in Pro Tools. And it will find you all the stuff that's called Drum within all of that. There's a 70s ballad drum there, so we can drag that in as well. I'm just going to undo that for a second because I want to talk about auditioning. So with the auditioning in, in the workspace, which has now disappeared actually behind the window, so I'm going to bring that to the front. So auditioning in the, in the workspace that we had set up here, we can do the same here at the bottom of the file browser. We can choose it to loop, choose it to play to the tempo of the session, which is what you can do in Pro Tools here by hitting that button. And then we can just listen to it, of course, again. And we can change the volume. And that's also possible in Pro Tools, and you do that there. And then if you like it, just like Pro Tools, you can drag it in. Now, as I say, the clip window is here. Now, in this session, that would now be in the pool. There it is in the pool. That's where all your audio clips as you build a song up will be stored. So to recap, the clip list in Pro Tools is called the pool in Studio One, and that's accessed by using the browse command here and selecting the pool tab. To navigate to files, just as you would in Workspace in Pro Tools, you would go to the files, and then you could navigate through the file structure. Now the good thing is as well, is you can actually choose any of those. We can right mouse click and we can create a tab of that from here. Now that's a tab at the top. So that's how you navigate and browse audio in Studio One. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next episode.